NMW. Why'd you put Al in? It's just L. And his name's Alvin. Whoops. Sorry, guys. We're just we're recording this, so we're just uh, saving all the files. Wait, can I do commands on my mobile? I don't know, bug catcher. Oh, we gonna take him to on it? Yeah. All right, we got NMW on uh on commentary. Here you go, dude. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we got Dark Atma and uh, Fruit Loop versus Shroom and Allen. So Dark Atma is from NorCal, but I think he lives in St. Louis, Missouri. Actually, I don't know. Maybe he li he's lives in the Midwest, and uh, Fruit Loop's from the Midwest, but I don't think that that's anywhere close to where Dark Atma lives. <laughs> Wisconsin, I, I don't think is that close to those other places. Anyway, so I doubt they have much experience teaming, if any. Uh, Dark Atmo is actually quite good. He was like 7th on the NorCal PR last time he lived up here. I don't think Sheik Falco is a very good team, but we'll see if they can make it work. Uh, I know Shroom hates playing against Fruit Loop in doubles and singles, but <laughs> especially doubles. He thinks he has kind of like an annoying style where he... Uh, picks the same simple options over and over and Shroom expects him to mix it up so then Shroom kind of like mind games himself uh, but I don't know about this striking to dreamland uh, Pete Sheik is they might have struck FD and Yoshi's I could see that they might not want to play on those two stages but overall I don't think that Falco uh, brings too much to the table here except maybe disrupting Peach's ledge guards on uh, Sheik, because Peach can go out and float. Okay, uh, blue teams winning this exchange at the ledge, though. Uh, it's pretty crucial in doubles to try to wrap up the stocks as quickly as you can, because the opportunities aren't likely to like repeat themselves, whereas in singles, maybe you could just uh, flow chart your neutral to have the same situation come up. Okay, uh, knockdown on Fruit Loop, but Alan opts to try to double team Dark Atma. You'll notice that Red Team will be extremely good at picking their targets. Uh, Shroom especially likes to run through the person in the front and attack the support player in the back. But it seems like uh, Fruit Loop and Dark Atma could actually take this first game potentially. They're slight lead right now. Shroom could live, yeah. Allen is extremely good at saves. Uh, I'd say better than Shroomed in that regard. And Fruit Loop does some bad double lasers, which end up hitting Dark Atma, but Shroom gets cleaned up anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, couldn't quite tell if that was an intentional save or what happened, really. It can be pretty hard when there's three characters in the same area to you know, keep track of that. Ah, uh, Fruit Loop takes 50. That's really big. That's That means now uh, Red Team's in the lead. Like, that, that's literally half of Falco's stock. Now if he gets down smashed off the stage, Shroom will probably clean him up. Okay, I like, I like that opting for the double team, uh, not wasting their time ledge guarding Peach. That's definitely a, a vice of countless players in doubles that they try to position themselves to... Uh, take advantage of floaties like regaining position but that's actually just a terrible idea because you could double team their teammate um, so I said I said it in a general way because it also happens when a floaty is above you and trying to get down you should just double team their teammate oh Shun didn't properly refresh his invincibility but uh, Dark Ammo wasn't able to get to the ledge in time to punish him uh, throws needles but Fruit Loop opts to up B instead of side B um, just, I guess, miscommunication and lack of experience there. Shroom mi missing up some shield drops. Uh, tech errors could let Dark Atma have a chance. Okay, didn't get his jump back, so it should be rinse and repeat. 
Oh, I think he intentionally did that weak nair to set up Shroom, but Shroom also got a weak hit. Oh! <laughs> nice power shield there. I think it's a ridiculously stupid idea that power shields like decrease damage, not knockback. I feel like they should increase them. Because you outplayed somebody so bad if you power shielded their stitch. Come on. Or charge shot. So it looks like this side of winter semis, the second and third seeds, was going to be a lot better of a set than we had between the first and fourth seeds in our set. Um, I think they will pick Battlefield or Stadium. Battlefield would be a better choice in my opinion because uh, Peach can't touch people on the top platform, so they should... Okay, Dreamland has a high top platform and so does Battlefield, but uh, he didn't get that longevity advantage. Uh, Alan doesn't on this stage that he'd get on Dreamland, whereas Fruit Loop will still get the uh, mobility to jump really high and avoid Alan. Oh, Shroomed uh, gets Shroomed gets Fruit Loop to drop low and then kill himself. Oh, so you can you can see that blue team isn't really uh, setting up each other nearly as much as red team. They mostly uh, just do like separate hits, and maybe if they get hit like towards each other once in a while, they'll uh, start their own combo. But there's no like uh, team UGS kind of stuff where you'd hit them back and forth. Oh, interesting by uh, Fruit Loop to extend that, but I guess it ended up working out really well. In doubles, people tend to just hold in and not DI uh, out of combos because. Taking an oh no, that's kind of a coup de gras for this game. Uh, okay, so in singles it's bad to hold in because you'll get the combo extended and then they'll get a beefier punish. But in doubles, if you uh, trade it like an extra hit or two for not getting launched as far off stage, it's usually worth it because your teammates there to help you. Um, so you can read people's DIs a lot easier in doubles. Another thing you guys should learn to read for sure is reading missed text. If a lot of times people will get hit right before they expect a tech, and then they'll always miss the next tech. That's just a way to get a bunch of easy free kills if you have a good eye for it. Okay, great grab by Shroom, making sure that Fruit Loop can't shoot lasers to save uh, Dark Atma. Despite the fact that I kind of said Blue Team isn't doing much teamwork, I do think Fruit Loop actually tends to pick his spots extremely well, so maybe as the tournament goes on towards you know losers, They'll have better synergy. Fruit Loop does tend to team with his roommate, though, so maybe his synergy with him is better than his overall doubles skill. Uh, his roommate is not here, though. Okay, uh, so five stocks, a Falco. <laughs> Once we get another knockdown, it'll probably be curtains. I, I say that, by the way, if you guys can't put two and two together. It's because in doubles when there's a knockdown, it's really easy to cover all options with your teammate compared to in singles. I'm not sure why he didn't just run off the stage in there. Okay. Um, Dark Atma grabbing a drink of water. Probably going to go back to Battlefield again, I would guess. Uh, that game just had some unfortunate stuff like that. Side B off the stage. Dreamland. Okay, well, there we go, Dreamland. Seems like Fruit Loop knows that Red Team is just literally going to try to hunt him. That's going to be their strategy. So he wants the bigger stages where he can outmaneuver them so that he doesn't get a... Uh... Basically, the more freedom that Fruit Loop has to pick his spots, the, the lower the odds are that he'll just get Wombo Kamud. Oh... Unfortunate for Allen, dying at 28%, that's, you know, more than 100% earlier than Peach would probably die otherwise. Especially against a team like Blue Team, where uh, she Sheik, Falco don't have any kill tools. Their kill tools are probably Tipper Up Smash from Sheik, which is really hard to set up. Dare from Falco, which is uh, medium hard to set up. And Forward Smash, which is middle of the road, both in terms of setting up and kill power. So that's really only three tools that aren't really that uh, easy to land as compared to, let's say, a Fox Up Smash. 
kind of refreshing to see a double set with no Fox on the screen. It really changes the dynamic because Fox has so much power to uh, engage and choose basically to do whatever he wants. Um, with Falco especially, he's being very meticulous. I'm actually surprised that Fruit Loop is playing Falco because normally in doubles I do see him opt for Fox and I do think, well, I mean, SL would say that Fox Sheik is the best team besides Double Fox. A lot of people in NorCal really like uh, Fox Sheik as a team. So maybe for Genesis or something, Fruit Loop wants to train his Falco up. I'm not sure who he's teaming with there. Um, might just be his roommate again, who knows. But this game is, uh, is looking pretty close. Um, this beam sword could, could be trouble. The, the jab and the f-tilt from the beam sword are both really nice. I'm surprised he threw it away, actually. Really lets you uh, control space. Just, honestly, good grounded moves, like with a you know, disjoint low cooldown stuff. That stuff is ridiculously good. And uh, Sheik is probably the only character that has ground moves that are comparable to like how good the beam sword ones are. Okay, so blue team. Oh, Fruit Loop. Ugh. Just as I was about to say, as they if they got a decisive swing, could take that game. I don't. I don't know if I like to see Dark Atma stalling on the ledge as much there because when either of Red Team's characters get hit off, there's enough time to go for at least one hit of a double team, and then uh, take the ledge afterwards. Where not only will you uh, be getting extra damage on their partner, but you'll actually make it easier to ledge guard. By, uh, by clearing up the possibility of a save by hitting their team in the way. Shroom looked pretty frustrated after that SD, but still a pretty massive advantage for red team. Um, it would be harder if Shroom were the one at high percent for red team, but since he's the one at low percent, yeah, he, he's the one who wants to go in and get another 30, that 3-0. Might have Pew, Pew Fat versus uh, Shroom coming out next, I think. 